now, okay? Very well. All right, so for the record, um, what medical degree do you have? I'm an 18 Delta medic. It's a special forces medic. We were physician standards independent duty health care providers practicing all areas of medicine. I did a lot of work in Central America. I ran emergency rooms here in the States. I have extensive psychiatric background because of all the traumatized veterans I dealt with. So my degree is health care provider. Okay. All right. Um, so what would you say if someone came up to you and they had nine witnesses that shared the same experiences they have, um, and some of them were told to provoke them to get them involuntarily admitted into the psych ward. And um, some, some of them have observed some of the aspects of gang stalking, different aspects. Would you come to the conclusion that this person is schizophrenic or would the witnesses seem to suggest that there's something going on? Well, you'd have to talk to all the witnesses, but I myself, if I, if I was a provider and I heard the person's story, right, I'm the, I'm the least person to believe in a conspiracy theory. All this has happened to me big time, okay? I'll tell you why later. But I, I it, really, then let me hear your witnesses, okay? And I talked to these witnesses, okay? If the witnesses corroborated, I'm inclined to believe the person. Because schizophrenia, you don't have what schizophrenia is a chemical imbalance. Okay, and each person's delusions are, are personal. No one man has the same delusion as another. Okay? That would, this, that would cause the schizophrenia diagnosis to fall short. And you have people just randomly whipping out schizophrenia without research. It, it, it's, uh, it's poor medicine, to say the best. It's irresponsible, lackadaisical, and if not bright, then going contrary to the Hippocratic Oath of the Doctor to do that. <laughs> All right, so um, what, what is your opinion on gang stalking? Well, having been gang stalked myself, I ended up uh, researching Morgellons disease, and in the process, I found the technology behind electronic harassment. I understand it completely, all of it. And I shut their system down a couple times. All of a sudden, I'm being gang stalked. Okay, and these guys, all of a sudden, I had guys in various colors showing up all the time, behaving in certain ways. So I start doing things back. Okay, it's very real. I start wearing the men. Okay, I got the gang stalkers. I taught them how to get more money out of their companies. You want to stalk me? What do you need, buddy? Let me give you something. Let me get you paid better. Some of the other ones, a couple of my shit hard. You martial artist? Oh, yes. Huh? Are you? Me too. I scuttled this dude. It kind of does. I knew no one was looking. It was a stalker. One of the ones that sent him out of me. I just hit him in a pressure We got boom! About three times real hard and walked off my knee. It's all, he's all hit slings and things. <laughs> 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 Informants, 
They have a flat affect. They have no ups or downs. Their face is blank. You can't get a response out of them. I start laughing, you know. They, they, I said, do you even get mad? I said, they, they, these people have a fullness of mediocrity. They <laughs> said, this one guy trying to get him mad. It's like, my gosh. You people, uh, something's happened where our, our society has become a fearful, thoughtless, conformist society. Without question. How the hell did that occur? I'm not sure. I'm from the 60s. We're rebellious as hell. I'm 62 and violently rebellious from the world where I come from. Always question authority I had in my license plate in the earlier days. Fuck this, fuck that, you know, marks, you know, through fire bombs, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. People nowadays, they're, they're, they're sheep. Illuminati calls them sheeple. Good term. I agree. So there's my opinion on it. It's very real. I, I'm the kind of person that flat out usually doesn't believe in conspiracy theories because people blow it and talk. Well, they blow it and talk, and it still goes on. I'm able to bribe them here and do all kinds of things, and it still goes on. So I don't know how much of a conspiracy theory it really is. It's not out, not out done. It is so prevalent in our society, it's going to overthrow our freedom. Everything we fought for, you and I, is going down the tape. So I guess they best be standing me up against the wall and get me a firing squad for me because that's the one where shut me up. There's the answer. How's that? Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. What, what do you know about uh, covert drugging? I've heard it exists. Um, covert drugging, they... I'm not sure what exactly they're using. I know certain gases that they use. I can research the covert drug. And I have had, I'm certain that I've had it happen to me. Usually, uh, it's a downer, I've noticed, at the present effects. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I get very sedated. I've actually done an experiment. What? Uh, I get sedated and sometimes I go to sleep from it. I get nauseated. Um... I have witnesses to them fuming my room. I have uh, one witness, and then I have two witnesses to them, you know, fuming my car. And of all the cars in my household, it's only my car. Of all the rooms in my house, you know, I live in a two-story house, five-bedroom. It's only my yeah. bed. It, it, it's only my bedroom. And I did an, an, a little experiment with somebody where um, I had two cans of soda that I suspected were drugged because I had drinking from the. Uh, I, I had consumed some sodas from the cases, and they were drugged. And I had one that I knew wasn't drugged, and I gave her. Were the they drugged before they were before they were put in initially at the, at the factory? Yeah, so I, I don't know how they do it. But at the grocery stores I go to, when I go to the aisle with the soft drinks, I usually see them just finishing restocking, and it is a very suspicious-looking person, which may be neither here nor there, but they know what I like to drink because they keep a record of it when I type in my phone number to get the discount at Knob Hill or Safeway or whatnot. So they have a record of it, and they're obviously following me. So yes, they know what I like to drink, and they're stalking it right before I get there, as I get there. So they have a strong communication network, which is what the police officer and the gang stalking victim on Fox News were saying when they said that, yes, these people follow you around, and they've been known to watch people, and so on so yes it makes absolute sense and this happens at many different grocery stores and it's so hard to believe because people will say wow why would they do all that just for you you know and so i i, I had somebody she was able to identify and i have this on video i have the whole experiment on, on record she was able to identify which drink was not drugged and she expressed um that she was feeling the same symptoms that i felt and then i did the experiment over and same thing she was able to identify the the symptoms and the drinks do me a favor send me a list of the symptoms and the duration how long how long did it take to onset what are the symptoms and the duration of the symptoms will you text that to me all right and this this is something they drug they drug me at like over 30 different places and i end up getting drugged every day you know um, one of the two things they do to us, okay, we, they do, uh, you have, you have, you know what a carbon nanotube is? No. You know what they are? 
And these are, uh, look it up on Wikipedia if you want. That's a long explanation. But we have, we can make little carbon nanotubes out of a molecule called C60. And we essentially have artificial intelligence. And they're quantum in size. They put them in our food and our fuel and so forth. And these things are capable of sending and receiving signals. They're rapid through other bodies and so forth. Okay, okay. And they begin to, if you are chosen as a TI, they experiment on you for all kinds of reasons. To get data, okay, I found our files. I found lots of people's files. I know exactly what they use, how they're doing it, what, they, what data they found on experimentation. Now, one of, that's one of the reasons money is spent. And another reason you've done something to make them afraid of you. You're probably not afraid, or you're, you're, you might be aggressive, you're a martial artist, you probably are the kind of person that, that doesn't really operate on fear, and, and you might be like me, it's like, fuck you. Don't say anything I want. You know, you know, that's the attitude I have toward them. They'll do what I want, and fuck you, and I get aggressive with them. I'm real good at what I do, you know. I challenge them all the time. I throw down, pass, and then I get aggressive and piss them off. It's just that I love to do that. Oh, I love it. It gives me purpose in life. I get hit with microwaves all the time. They use something called lavish gas on me out of Czechoslovakia. I found that through the carbon nanotubes and that they, they see through your eyes and stuff, they can like, there's the capacity of a carbon nanotube by the fucking dude in India playing me like a video game, some nerd. Oh, I'd like to get my hands on him. I can, all this stuff, I can prove it. Every bit. I want to put a book out, Incontrovertible Proof, make it a bestseller. Yeah. And challenge our critics. Prove me wrong. Look at carbon nanotubes. A lot of it, I realize that these are in you all over, and they're, they're passing what they do, and uh, this explains a lot of reasons why, why we have what the we have, okay? All, all kinds of stuff. But they drug us, they can also microwave you. They can deliver in a microwave now. We have the, the technology, we can hit you in a microwave, and we can deliver uh, a drug through your skin by microwave. We can put it in a drink, we can do it, uh, but I like to know what sort of drug hits, how long did it take to hit you? Um, do you have a pop? Probably, uh, depending on how much I consume and how fast I consume, sometimes uh -huh. it's, it, it's right away within a couple minutes. Uh, sometimes. And then one of the symptoms? Um, first, I feel I feel definitely drugged, kind of like a psych med a little bit. I feel kind of disoriented. I have slurred speech. I lose my train of thought. Um, I, I have lost the coordination. I feel sleepy. Um, I feel weak. Like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a phenotizing, like forazine, like malaria, something like that. That's what you're describing. You shake, you. Okay, go ahead. How long does it last? Um, it usually lasts the, the direct effects. After a while, I feel kind of tired, you know, but the, um, the more powerful effects, the immediate effects probably last about... Um, I want to say two hours, and then I just feel tired and kind of worn out. You know, I, I've crashed. You ever, you ever catch yourself drooling with your mouth open ever? No. Okay. Uh, also, my vision will be... I want to take the... Your uh, vision does what? I, I, I get a little bit blurred vision. Uh... Your pupil get larger. Is that what causes the blurred vision? That, that could be it. I've definitely noticed in my, I have a drugged up look in my, you know, when I, when I, uh, in my eyes. You know. Uh, I mean, it sounds to me like you're giving a, a drug of a class, a short acting, uh, in a five cents or something. I mean, that sucks. Totally sucks. Yeah. You know, this is following the doctrine of the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union used to do this. If you weren't sufficiently Marxist in your views, you had a mental illness and you were taken to the hospital. You were given high doses of phenothiazines until such time as your psychosis left and your Marxism views were acceptable. <laughs> the Soviet Union sounds like it's being resurrected here. In increments. I find it interesting that Putin came out and warned everybody about it.
about it, and this country that has the least of it right now. I'm tripping out over this. When I was in Central America, everything we told the people of the United States was a lie. Everything. Everything. We had no problem lying to our people. We're probably the most dishonest as far as telling our people the truth of any nation. Everything we told them was wrong. And, uh, oh man, right now, it's a felony to stop. They say that they have your consent to do this. Define consent. Okay, I like, I, I, this is what I want to get legally defined. Do you mean you have this guy's consent to do this to him? Bullshit, prove it to me. I'll see you, I want to see your definition of consent. Because I don't you think people are retaliating, I'm just waiting. You know, all you good people with me on Facebook, I need all your help. Because you guys come up with things I never think of. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got genius. I got a bunch of geniuses. And I got functional supports. And everybody working with me. But we need to do this. There's been, a lot of stuff's been put out and it didn't work. What we have to put out, we'll have to work. We need to make it a bestseller. Make it work. And these, they need to be exposed. So people have to either, they have no choice but to believe it. We refuse to believe it one or the other, but, but the, the choice that it is and isn't there will not be available to people anymore. That's the intent that we want to do. Any other questions? Um, I think we went a little bit over. Uh, I think that's it for now. We should probably do Yeah, I just realized that. We, we probably should do another interview, though. I, I like the way you think. <laughs> Send me a text. Ask this question. Let's just, I can't today. I got, I backed up to the wall for things to do. I have to treat more gallons disease and more body that treats and understands it, so I have patience, so. Okay. Uh, thank you for the interview. All right, my brother. You bet. Have a nice day. You too.